Welcome back. I'm Dr. Rich. My passion is to provide women with practical knowledge about the world of women's health. We're here today with our new nurse practitioner, Patty Castro. Patty, what brought you to come and join our your gynecology practice? Well, actually, I had heard about you many, many years. I had seen you on Facebook, YouTube. You're very well known in the community. I did a little bit of research, and I just wanted to be part of a great practice, to be honest. I wasn't sure if I wanted to be part of it until now that I'm part of it. I'm amazed of how things actually work out in the clinic. So I'm actually glad that I joined. Well, you came very highly recommended as well. And um, this is actually your first position as a nurse practitioner, is that right? Correct. Very good. And uh, transitioning from uh, critical care nursing to yes. your gynecology, what has that transition been like? Eye-opening. A little challenging, but eye-opening. It's a to totally different ball game. I was used to the adrenaline and now coming back to more one-on-one -on -one patient experience. I feel like you get to provide better care for the patient's quality of life. So, what have you found interesting now that you've been working in our practice for about a month now? I found it very eye-opening that there were a quite range of ages that walk into your door. Anywhere from 18 to 92 year old. It, Did they get a 92? Yeah. <laughs> so it, it was, it's different, you know. Uh, Personality-wise with the patients where they come and they love you the moment they see you and the little old ladies that they just want a better quality of life regardless of their age. So that's the, that's the shocker that I've seen. So coming from a background in critical care, um, moving to an office-based practice, what were your expectations of culture and you know what have you felt since you've been here? Well, when I first started, I... As a patient, I've only experienced going to a clinic and seeing it move like a factory, I would say. So that's what I expected. But on the other hand, being there now, it's like everyone's a family. Everyone just has a system where it makes it very efficient for patients to be seen. Um, no matter how many patients want to be seen a day, they're there and they will be seen and you give them your time and it doesn't feel like you're being rushed. Like, in critical care and the ER and the ICUs. It just feels like you have your time there with them and you give them your whole undivided attention because the staff does such a great job in organizing everything, your surgeries, your procedures, which patients should be seen first. So it just feels so organized and it feels like a little family. So how would you compare your experience in critical care where a lot of times you're managing patients that have life-threatening issues, now going to a outpatient elective surgery practice? Well, in critical care, I was used to just the bottom line. The bottom line was to save your life and move you forward. Never was the focus on quality of life, never. It was just about get them going, survive, next one. Now, after 10 years of being in the medical field, I turn around and see that it's not just about saving lives, it's about that life that that individual comes that they want to improve it. They want a better quality of life and it's been a total 180 degree change. I think the biggest thing is that patients come with something very personal. They have a very personal situation that sometimes they don't speak about it to anyone. Um, they come in having sometimes no expectations because they've lived with this for so long and they don't a lot of them don't really know the fascinating surgery that he could provide for them that no one else can so their little situation not little but they were kind of putting it aside while they continued their life now they could include it in their life as something life-changing because their quality of life is improving 100% and that's not something that I'm used to. Thank you for joining us. If you feel this information was helpful, please hit like. And to learn more about your gynecology, prolapse, and incontinence, please remember to hit subscribe. If you have any comments, please go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Thanks again.